Hello, so uh, today's video is actually a response to a question I received on uh, YouTube. And it was a question about the scrolling feature of these LCD screens. And uh, I'll just explain how I've done it here uh, without trying to be overly complicated or make this a 40 minute video. So by scrolling, I mean, so here we're typing and you see we just scrolled up. Um, it may seem straightforward, but when you're coding it, it's not. Uh, I'll bring you over here to my computer screen. So the memory map, and what, what I actually do is I do not store my characters in the system memory of the 8088. I just read the character right off the screen and move it uh, to scroll up. But here you can see uh, like an address map. The top corner you can see is zero. And it goes over to uh, one three, but then the second line actually is four zero. Down here is one four. So the third line, so it goes from one down to three, back to two, and then down to four. So what you have to do is you actually have to read uh, what would, logically would be the third line to the first, the second line to the third line, and the last line, the fourth line to the second line. And here's kind of another way to look at it. So you got row one and then row three, row two and then row four. And all you're gonna do is move three to one, two to three, four to two, and then fill four with uh, spaces. That's what I do. So let me show you in the code. So here's my scroll up subroutine. And uh, I don't have a comment, so I'll just try to explain it. So I, I got SI, I use that as my source index, destination index, there. Now, something, I'll go back to the other screen real quick. Something to point out is this is actually not an accurate memory map. There's a digit in the uh, top position there, so it actually should be 80C094 and D4, if that makes sense. Kind of cover that up like that. So... What I'm saying is the top line is actually 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. The second line is C0 because 4 in binary is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. And you have to add a digit to that, which makes C is 1, 1, 0, 0. So it's C0, C1, anyway, and so on. So down here, this would be 9, 4, and this down here would be D4. So keep that in mind. So like I say, this... Memory map's not 100% accurate. So let's go back over to the code. So, like I said, we're going to do uh, the first line, which is the destination, is going to be 80. And the source is going to be C0, which is the, in memory, third line, but on physically, it's the second line. And I'm going to call a scroll up, which copies that line up. And then down here, I do the uh, 94 to C0. So source is 94. Destination C0, scroll up. Then down here, D4, which is the last line. Uh, destination 94, scroll up. And then the last one here, D4, I uh, just fill it with space, which is uh, 20, which is the character for space. And uh, that, that's kind of the gist of it. Let me show you how the call scroll up the subroutine there works is when you write, a good example right here on the last line, I say write command. So AL is the command we're writing, and it's moving the, the cursor to that position of D4, which is that memory location. And so I write that command, and it moves the cursor, and then for 20 times, I write a character. So the loop goes back up here to line four, and when it writes the character, it moves the cursor over one space. So it's writing 20, 20 times, starting at D4, which is the last line. If that may, if hopefully that didn't get too confusing. The reason why I can do that with the last one is because we know that the character is a space. These ones, you have to pull the character from the line below it. So let me show you how that's done. It's just down here in the code. So here's this scroll up sub. So what I do for 20, 20 times, that's the count register, 20 times, 
And I've got this loop here, and what it does is I move the uh, AX to SI, which is the source index address, and I write the command which moves the cor cursor to the source index, and I read the character. These are also subroutines. We, I, I don't really want to get into those, but it reads the character at that location. It stores the character, then it moves to the uh, destination index, and then it writes the the character at the destination index, or sorry, it writes the, moves to the destination address, that's what the write command is, and then retrieves the character that you read up here, and writes the character of the screen, it increments both source and destination, and then it jumps back up here to the loop, and it starts over, reads the character at the source, stores it, moves the cursor, writes the character at the destination, does it 20 times. So that's what you do for line, to get line one, two, and three, and then like I say, line four, I just fill with spaces. Um, we can go look at the write, the write command if you like. So my write command, because this is using the 8255, this is the write command. There's a, the data port, the control port, uh, I toggle some pins, there's some weight in there, and there's a, the command, anyway, it's, I didn't really want to talk about those too much, but that's how I scroll, is effectively I, um, you have to read the line below, write it up, read the line below, write it up, read the line below, write it up, and then fill the last with spaces. And then, like I say, it's just knowing that memory address. So, anyway, thanks for checking this out.